Off it goes. Especially for a guy like Chris Likes, where his vision, being able to find his teammates and his scoring ability are so important. We'll see how intrusive that mask is. Full six months recovery for Clyde Trapp. So we talk about Chris Likes' toughness. We got to mention Clyde Trapp in that mix as well. And the first basket of the game, Vasilovich draining that one. Swing here for Dawes on the spin, gets in close for two. Relatively similar to the move that he's done, and so many others really banged up for chunks of the season for Miami. Here's Mack from the corner, and nothing but net from three-point land. That lead at the break. It is, and when, when coaches recognize stats like that, that is something different. You're used to, you know, SIDs communicating. He has nine total ACC tournament wins, seven of them on this floor, only two wins in different sites. So, Jim Lanega happy to be back. This is the calling card for Brad Brownell's Clemson program. They are a defensive unit, and that's where he wants to be able to win games. Just in time, he got it off, and Stone will knock that one down. And then Keith Stone returns the favor for the U. Play with the goggles on, you need to shoot with them on. He did so, but he probably played less than two minutes with those goggles on. Tossed them to the side. That was game one, and I don't believe we've seen them since. 6-2, but a very good rebounding guard. Very tough. Newman on the attack, leaning in, and got it to go. That was a tough shot. Miller with the second chance. Wong thought about a three. He'll try the two and foul on the play as he drained it. Andy Miller with the offensive rebound, finding Isaiah Wong, who's able to finish with the and one off the jumper. Leonard Hamilton, ACC Coach of the Year. That was a runaway. What a team the Knowles have, as deep as ever, but they could really shoot it. Newman in close, and that's a tough drive for two. Sims will swing it. Newman again trying to get inside, but denied. On a terrific block by Wardenberg. Shots, at least you can make the 15 for him with no one guarding. Well, you're right, and they're not falling for Miami. They're one for 11 from three-point land. Sims squares up. Got the shooter's roll on that one. And he is a matchup nightmare for teams. I, I prefer for athletes to be honest and tell you what they honestly feel them in comparison to give you sports cliches. I like the fact that he mentioned it. Likes on target. Somebody's in trouble. Absolute when, <laughs> dynamo, too. When he's dribbling the basketball like this, it's a setup. He's going to work. Well, look at that. <laughs> Hits it. Out for the season with a stress fracture. So it's been an injury plague year, but also when you consider what you were trying to replace from the previous year. That is a nifty spin move by Cameron McGusty. A daunting thought. That masked man likes his back on the floor. Vasilovich, nice off the window for two. He has seven. On New Year's Day, and Clemson won that game in overtime. Scott through the lane for two. He just kept on moving. The way it does not never work. work yes. No. Getting Sims a touch and all that. That's the way Amir Sims plays. He's a face up forward. Keeps the dribble, flips it up. That won't drop. The tip on either. The follow by Wong Will. They have an opportunity to get off a heave here. Trap and got iron, but it wouldn't fall for him. Just need to relax, make a couple shots. What were you most pleased with defensively? I thought we contested a lot. Uh, I didn't think we gave them anything easy. I thought uh, they, they had to make shots that were guarded. Second basket at the rim. And Clemson has an advantage there against Miami's defense. And that's where Miami's advantage normally is. Knocking down the three, especially when you've got DJ Vasilovic taking the shot. And trying to play their way into the next round. Dawes finding Sims in tight for two. Fonz is smiling back in the studio. He's taken 327 shots this season, 205 of them outside the three point line. Dawes fires away and knocks it down. The winner to take on top seeded FSU here in Greensboro. McGusty will step back. Yes. He buries the three. His vision problems, having to wear the mask, which he's worn throughout the game. He did not start. Tough shot by Mack in traffic. The graduate from Columbia, South Carolina. Fingers end right now. Scott will pull up pop. Sims with a tough board. Great pass for Mack and two. And those are the first second chance points of the game. So for the Clemson Tigers, that's very important. 6-2 freshman on the spin stone strong move that was nice move by Keith Stone there They've been finishing many of those shots and not getting fouled 
which I'm sure Brad Brownell would prefer to have the two than going to the free throw line as well. Likes will stick that jumper. Likes. Trap powering his way into the lane. Here's Tyson on the attack with the left hand. That's a beautiful shot, but another great drive by the Tigers not settling. Make sure they're staying disciplined in their ball screen coverage. But also, guys, when Clemson has the ball and is trying to bring it up the court and likes is pressuring the ball, they need to be cognizant of who has the ball in their hands and make sure they've got their ball handlers bringing it up the court. Trap will swing it. Tyson gets it downstairs. Here's Sims on the block. And will spin inside and knock it down. Oh, Wardenberg hitting the deck. No one was buying it. It was not rewarding Wardenberg for going down. And Amir Sims continues to play and gets an easy block. Vasilovic left open three. and catches in on a three. He's got 13. You stop. Then that gives the official that time really to say, okay, well, he must have felt like he may committed the foul. But if you never stop, they don't throw the ball. Oh, Tyson. Tyson. Knocking down that one from long range. Big impact. He had 21 against Wake. He had a clutch three in the last two minutes against North Carolina. Mcgusty lines it up, and it rattles in for three-point land. Yeah, three-point shooting contest. You wouldn't have bet on that the way they shot it in the first half. When they were both very cold, here's Lights to pop it up there and knock down the three-pointer. Start loafing on the defensive end. Do what we practice. Make him take contested shots. Too many easy looks. And how about the beauty of that pass to get it to McGusty, thread the needle. Vasilovic looking for a pass and just threw it away right to Sims. Sims in transition. Oh, with the stop. And a dunk in the ball game. Five man intercept a pass and yet make a play in the full court to drop a dime to a teammate running. Which is part of the reasons why Clemson is so difficult to defend. He likes got hit in the face with that basketball. So he's taking some knocks. Sims again. Yes! With a three-pointer. Well, right now, Amir Sims, 13 All-ACC performer this season, is showing up. And he is a main part of the reason why the Tigers have a four-point lead. Beautiful shot oh, off the glass by Mcgusty off the spin. To be able to try to defend Clemson, you put Tyson in his ability to shoot the three, put so much more pressure when you're playing against this type of defense. Vasilovic with a mid-range jumper. That's sweetly done off the race. Pull up by DJ Vasilovic. He's able to make this a three-possession lead. That could be huge moving forward the remainder of this game. Dawes with a kick out. Tyson. Yes, he buries a three. And a huge shot. It's actually the biggest lead of the day for the Tiger. 11-point lead with a minute to play. Likes from three-point land. Got it. Pressure here by the Canes. In for Scott. Finds Sims. He can handle it. Newman not fouled. He'll lay it in. And I like the play by John Newman. Dawes sticking with him. Off the stall. Has to heave it up there. No. Rebound out to Likes. He hits another three. 18 seconds to go. Sims trying to get it in. And it's turned over. Here's Wong from the corner. Got it! With 14 and a half seconds to play. Six seconds to go. Likes off balance. Fires it up there. Wild shot. It comes right back to Sims. And that's going to do it. The Tigers will advance. They knock off Miami 69 to 64.